Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So I'm making this video in response to a question of one of my participants in one of the trainings that I do. And the question is, how can we extract a text that is generated because of a format? So for example, here I have some values and you would notice that the actual value of the uh, cell is 3,212.31, but we are getting the USD or PHP currency that is given to us because of a custom format or any format at all. Now, if we try to extract this using the write function, a2, comma, 3, you would notice that we will pick up what the actual value is, not uh, the one that is caused by the format. So here we have 0.31 because that is the last three digits of the actual value of the cell, not what we are seeing in the screen. So how do we do that? How do we extract the characters that we are seeing in the cell? Now to perform this, we actually have to delve into Excel 4.0. Excel 4.0 functions are currently replaced by Visual Basic and we don't use them anymore because they were designed for the old Excel. I mean, the one that is DOS-based pixelized Excel, the very old one. However, if you know how to use them, they are actually still usable in the recent versions of Excel. Like right now, I'm using the latest version of Excel, MS365, and I can still use them as long as you know how to use them. Now, the function that we want to get from that old forgotten language of function is the get cell function. So the get cell function extracts information out of a cell, and it's almost any information at all, okay, including um, number of characters, font, alignment, etc. So it's actually quite a powerful function. And many of its um, functionalities are already translated into actual tools, but some are not yet translated into current or modern functions. So the get cell function, you use it, you uh, open parentheses, then you have to assign a number and then the cell that you're targeting. So the number here is a number from 1 to 60 plus. And each number corresponds to a certain information from the cell. Now, the one that we need okay, for this specific task is task or code number 53. Code number 53 of the get.cell function give, uh, converts or gets the information that you see in the cell, regardless of where that value is coming from. If it is a format or an error from the cell, it will pick it up. Whatever you are seeing in the screen, that's what the get cell function will pick up. I'll show you. So to do this, I'll erase this um, annotation first. Now to use a macro for or an Excel 4.0 function, you have to go to formulas. And then under formulas, you have to use the name manager, which allows us to create named ranges or even named references. So here, we're going to get new. And then we're going to give our function, quote unquote, function a name. So I'm going to say extract currency. So just make sure you don't put any space in the name that you will use here. Spaces are not allowed, but you can use almost any. And then we will write the formula here. Now take note, it is actually very important that we position the cursor right beside the number that we're going to extract the currencies from. You cannot do this with your cursor anywhere in the worksheet because however we created this name cell, that's how the function will work. I'll demonstrate that. But for now, make sure that if you're going to do this, you position the cursor right beside the cell, 
And then we're going to now update the formula under the refers to field. And we will say right because we want to get characters from the right side. And then get dot cell open parentheses. And then we have to type the code 53, comma, and then we need to refer to cell A2 because currently that's where the first value is. And take note that I'm currently in B2, so I want the cell beside it, which is A2. And then this brings us back to the right function, so comma. We will then identify how many characters we're going to get from the right side. So in this case, we're going to use three and then close. So this ends the right function wherein the value will be provided to us by the get cell function and then click OK. If your formula is perfect, then you will not get any prompts. If you do, then please make sure that you get the right formula because it won't uh, fix itself like a regular Excel formula. You have to fix it yourself. And from here, I could now click close. So now I could try and use the function here. So I will say equals, and then I will type the name of the function, which I did as extract currency. And you will see that it's now being suggested to me here. So I can navigate to that cell or to that function and then hit tab. And you will notice that the function picks up the cell from A2. Remember, that's how we created this uh, named reference. And then we're going to hit enter. So we now manage to get the currency from the cell. We can then double click this to see that we're now picking it up from the rest of the cells. Now take note that if I decide to sort of like update the currency, let's say I'm going to change the second to USD, it will also update automatically. I could use filter, so let's say data filter, so that I could filter the values. And you will see here that they are indeed tangible text. You can use them to interact with the data, with the currency now. Okay. Now let's explore this further. So let's say that I'm going to copy some of these values over here. And I will uh, use the extract currency function here. So let's say I'm going to use here, extract currency. And did you notice that I have uh, here the cell beside it already selected? It's just like how we did it here, wherein we did not select A2. It's not like a regular function wherein you type open parenthesis A2. No, you do not need to indicate references because remember, A2 is already in the function. So you just have to type the name reference and not put any cells. So here, I'm going to do that again. And take note how it picked up the one on the left, okay? I don't have any option to like click another cell because if I do that, I will simply get an error. So this means that how you created the um, formula when we created the name manager actually matters. If I created this with the current cell, okay, right beside the number, that we extracted values from, then that's also the way to execute it. So I will have to put it here to make it work. And that's how macro for functions, Excel 4.0 functions work. Take note, let's explore this further. I will um, make it smaller like this. And you know that if the value of the cell is not enough, for the width of the cell, you will get this pound signs and you will notice that I'm still getting PHP. However, if I update the formula by hitting enter, you will get the pound signs as well because the get cell function picks up the values as you see them on your screen, all right? 
So we're seeing here three pound signs because that's what I'm seeing on the screen right now. Even if the value is actually still 6,000.43 and it even has that guy that you see that it, it has PHP even. So if I expand again the width of the column, you will see that it's not going to automatically update. So I have to do it again in some cases and double click. And that's how the get.cell function can be used. And if you're wondering if you can use that in, let's say, another workbook, so let me start a new one and perform exactly the same procedure as what we did and use the get or sorry, the extract currency. So you will notice that it won't be picked up. So you have to do that every worksheet. And that's it. Okay, that's the macro Excel 4.0 function, get that cell function. So for other functionalities of the get that cell, I'll try to do as many videos as possible to, uh, with, if I have time. But you can go to the internet and find the meanings of the different codes from one to 60 plus of the get that cell so that you can substitute them to the formula that we did and you can apply the same procedure okay, to those um problems now let's try it further what if it's a currency on the left side so let's say i have here some amounts and then i'm going to produce some random numbers okay and then i'm going to format okay these cells so i'll format the first and the third one as let's say dollars and then I have the second and fourth one as euros. So I want to pick up those currencies okay, from the format. Take note that just like what we did a while ago, the value of the cell is actually still 190 and the dollar sign is only provided to us because of the format. So if we use left here and then say one, we're only going to get the number one because the actual value is 190 and not dollar 190. So this is where the extract currency or sorry, the get that cell function can again be used. So I'll try it again this time. So formulas name manager. Now this time I cannot use the same function because this one is specifically for the right side. So I'll just click new and then this time I'll um, extract from left so from here okay so i will now write the formula so left left of what value so i'm going to use the get cell function to pick that up specifically code uh, 53 of the cell beside me cell a2 and then close now for this scenario you actually have i actually have to put here two because whenever you put currencies okay, in cells, there's actually a space that the format adds to the beginning. So I have to pick it up with the number two because I want the space and the dollar sign and then close. If you want, you can use the trim so that it doesn't um, include the space in the result. So I'm now going to click OK and click close. So I'm now going to try that out, extract from left and then enter and I get the dollar sign. So double click and I now have the currencies extracted from the cell. And that's it. That's how to use the get cell uh, function. And that's generally how to use um, Excel 4.0 function. I hope you, um, let me know if you have any questions, use the comment section. If you, this video helped you, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, again, use the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.